It has to actually be funny. I'll go first. My dad abandoned my family when I was five years old. That is um, a wife and four kids. He abandoned us and then pursued amateur breakdancing. Some more context is needed here. Needless to say, I will, uh, I will talk about this in a moment. All right, let's continue with the video. And he got really good. <laughs> He like blew up like he became like a d-list celebrity status like viral breakdancer he became like the oldest actively competing breakdancer in the world and then he got on good morning america and talk shows and washington post wrote about him and he went super viral and he did all these interviews and he danced with paul abdul and here i'll show you let's see take a look at this six okay so let's, let's stop dancer. it right yes. there let's stop it right there so one of the things is that she went ahead and posted who he was online well, first of all, the video only has 7,000 views. But secondly, why do that? Because now people are going to know exactly who he is. You knew people would go to go bother your father. If you don't have a relationship with your father, fine. But why would you send your millions of people over there to go bother this man? Okay? If you don't like your father, if you don't feel with your father, fine. But to say that not only name, not only bring him up, but to also say who he was to say what he does and to go off on him. You knew that that was going to have repercussions. You knew this man because of your allegiance. You know, you're an influencer. So, you know, people are going to go over there and bother this man when he's living his life. Why? Now, if this was all a ploy to get him more followers, I don't know. I don't know. But based off what I saw, and she did have a response video to this, and it's, I'll explain that here in a bit. Um, but however, I just don't see the point of you going after your father. I, I don't know. I don't know. Let's continue. 60 years old. Amazing. Ben Hart, he's competing at a break dancing competition in Philadelphia, and he may not have won, but he, I'll tell you what, he is winning over a lot of people on the internet. Yes. He really is. Yep. He's winning over a lot of people on the internet. This guy wouldn't pay my medical bills. That is not true. More on that in a minute. I want to rock right now. I don't rock bass when I fancy get down. I'm not The worst part, damn it, he's good. He should not be able to move his body like that it's like impossible it's beautiful hey dad thank you maddie like there was no split custody or anything like he just like left four kids to do that he may not have paid for some of my medical bills growing up but he did give me this breakdancing merchandise so that's him he's on his that is a nice shirt this is b-boy name because his name is ben Hart. what is going so on with the sound this. happy birthday question mark and then like links to his to his breakdancing video. That's true. Well, if you have funny trauma, like actual it's funny her video. Ha -ha trauma, it's... <laughs> I need to hear it. Thank you. Okay, in many ways, I love this video. And of course, I love my daughter, Maddie. And we get along great. At least I think we do. But a few corrections are in order. Or at I want to say this, too. I want to say this, yeah. Just, just respect to you, OG. Respect to you, brother. You're much older than I am. Respect. I only think that sometimes perception is... Not the reality, everybody. You may think you have a great relationship with your wife, your wife, your daughter. However, she doesn't believe so. So just know that men may see relationships different than women do. And especially maybe a father may see it. And there's a big age gap between them. I think Maddie's in her 20s, if not 30s. But still, that puts this man five years ago. He was in his 60s. So he may be in his 70s now. I believe he's in his 70s or he is exactly 70. So no matter how you slice it, he's at least 40 to 50 years older than this young lady. So there's just going to be some discrepancy there. I just still wish she had more respect. Put in context. First, I can see that as a five-year-old, Maddie would see her dad as having abandoned the family. One day I was living there. The next day I wasn't. And that will By the way, like guys, it, it's clear that he's reading off a script. Okay. Not everybody can just go off the cuff. And sometimes in situations like this, you may want to write out a script or at least have an idea of what you want to say. But married couples do get divorced about half the time in America. And I was just living a mile or so down the street in LaGrange, Illinois. We just weren't living under the same roof. Now, about not paying medical bills, that's just not correct. Here was the financial arrangement of the divorce. Maddie's mom, my ex-wife, got $2 million at the get-go, out of the gate, a lump sum payment. 
Plus, I was paying her $18,000 per month in child support and alimony. This was later reduced to $12,000 per month. And of course, I paid health insurance and out-of-pocket medical costs. I also put $600,000 into the kids' college fund. In all, I paid out about $5 million to my ex-wife to cover costs for her and the kids. And this is in 2005 dollars. So add 50% to account for inflation. In other words, I was not a deadbeat dad at all. And by the way, Maddie did not say that in her video. But a lot of the comments assume that and say that. Now, of course, there was no way for Maddie to know how much I was paying because she was a kid. This wasn't something I talked about. Now, I want to say this. That I, was living I keep saying that. Another thing, Maddie, in, in her response video, there's no need to bring it up because she's deleted it, so I'm going to let her live. But nonetheless, she put it up on Twitter. I did watch it. Um, and all she said was that when she was older in college, she tried to ask her father for medical help, and he did not give it to her. Yes, it may be true that he doesn't even know her birthday, which I, that's hard to believe if he was there when you were born. But sometimes he does get her birthday wrong. He is 70. I'm not going to kill him on forgetting a birthday, okay? Uh, nonetheless, she admitted that she had no idea what the financial arrangement is. She still does not know to this day. And she goes on to say that her mother and her siblings are just flabbergasted and just can't stand them. See, this is what happens. When the mother's the only person in the home. When the mother's the only person in the home, then you only get the mother's side. And then she goes to make it seem like the father was not even around. So let's say he gave that five million dollars, okay? And five million, let's account that now to today's numbers, he said would be ten million, right? The point is, he gave six hundred thousand dollars for their college fund. Okay? He paid eighteen thousand dollars a month. Okay, if we just do that math. She got a lump sum, and then he was still paying 18 racks. Okay? 18 racks. I'm not going to be able to do that math that quick. $216,000 a year. Could you live off that? Okay? This man is clearly making more money than we could think of. For her, her to get that $2 million, that $216,000 a year, and even when it got reduced, she's still getting... A hundred and twenty thousand dollars a year plus the work she's doing and he had to cover medical costs and he had to do everything to cover the health insurance out of pocket. Maddie, what the F? This is why you let's let the video continue. <laughs> Woo! Cause I'm about to get hot and heavy in here, baby. One mile down the road from the kids in LaGrange, Illinois. Sidewalks all the way. An easy walk or bike ride. I saw the kids all the time. No abandonment, just a divorce. Was I at fault in the divorce? Yeah, I would say it was about 70% at fault. I own that. Maddie's mom and I were really not compatible in many ways. We were compatible in some ways, but not in other ways. Do I regret marrying Maddie's mom? No, absolutely not. If I had not married Maddie's mom, Maddie and her three siblings would not have been born. They would not have existed. The kids have turned out great. Maddie graduated from Northwestern University and is a screenwriter in Hollywood. Maddie's older sister, Tori, is a partner at a hedge fund on Wall Street, and she's getting rich. Maddie's younger sister, Olivia, just graduated from college and is teaching English to first graders in Thailand. Her older brother, Peter, is getting a master's degree in psychology. Oh, I get along great oh, with all my yeah, kids. Here's my Maddie. thing about that. At least I think I do. Here's my thing about that, too. How fucking... Listen, I'm not here to say that this man's an angel. And I know some people have got out the stories. Maybe he cheated on his wife. Maybe this, maybe that. I don't care. That's between him and the wife. They ain't got nothing to do with the kids. You damn kids stay out. You need to stay out of your damn parents' business. They ain't got shit to do with you. Who am trying not to curse so much? But it has nothing to do with you. Y'all went to college. Maddie, you, Maddie, you went to college. Your siblings went to college. Your siblings apparently are doing well in whatever they are doing well in. He gave y'all $600,000 for the fund, plus all the money he was sending to each one of you, $18,000, which was reduced to $12,000, probably based off of how much money he was bringing in, plus $2 million. 
He was giving all that money to the family to help for all the kids. And y'all were able to all get somewhere in life. Now, I understand your mother raised you or whatever going on with that. But your father was still providing funds. He was still providing even when he was not there. And you went out of your effing way. You did not have to make that video talking about childhood trauma. You could have easily said, you know, here's something that's crazy about my childhood trauma. Me and my father didn't have the best relationship. Done. Conversation over. Didn't have to go nowhere from that. You didn't have to go out of your way to blast him. Say he didn't cover my medical bills. You didn't even know anything about it, Maddie. You literally said in your response video, you had no idea how much your mother was getting from your father. You know why? Because I don't even care. I don't even care that your mother didn't tell you. But my problem is it seems as if your mother didn't talk kindly about your father because she would have said respect your father he is still helping the family he is still doing things for this family we are not together that is between me and your father you do not need to treat him that way i understand y'all don't talk a lot maybe he's not around but don't disrespect your father he is still helping this family have some respect if i'm sure if you would have came that way across the room there's no way i could see her still growing up and saying man f my father he abandoned us we were out on the streets pretty much she didn't say that but she could easily say hey we were living good though i don't know how but we were living good she didn't say that part she didn't say the father was helping them live good two hundred and sixteen thousand dollars a year nobody's making that he's literally giving that money plus i don't know if your mother worked or not but if your mother was working at all and just making forty thousand dollars a year that is $256,000 that was coming in. And when it was reduced, you were still having a six-figure life with all four of y'all. And y'all had $600,000 in college fund. Don't tell me, Maddie, that you wanted to go out of your way to embarrass this man for no good-ass reason. And that's why I can't stand some of you mothers who talk about your ex-husbands like this. I don't remember. Did he come out and make a video and say, man, my ex-wife trifling. Uh, she, she didn't do this. She didn't do that. She didn't do it looked like this man was not being bothered Because he said he started getting all these these threats calling him a deadbeat and all that Now so it was It's obviously possible that nobody knew who he was or that even him and Maddie were even connected unless she said something But the way he started this video said my daughter's Maddie So it was clear that he hadn't mentioned it before Well, I don't understand why Let's just go back to the video. So the kids are doing just fine despite dad's many shortcomings. One other slight correction, which I hesitate to even bring up because I love the way Maddie did this in her video. I did not abandon the family for break dancing. I have a career. I'm in the advertising business, built an ad agency. That's how I was able to afford to pay Maddie's mom $5 million. Maddie's mom and I separated. So Maddie once again got it wrong. Maddie thought that he went and became a famous break dancer and was making a ton of money from that. The way she made it sound. She said he went to be famous and he couldn't pay my medical bills. But it's like, no, <laughs> I was already in a good career. That's how you got five million bones. I don't know how the hell five million wasn't enough for y'all. OK, but I did everything I could. Now, when you get older, now, we can have a discussion. Should he have paid her medical bills or not? I think he's going to go over that. But that's not besides the point. She made it seem like he was absent the entire time. Just because he wasn't physically in the home. But he was still helping the family. He was, even though the court probably made him do it. But he said he did some out-of-pocket stuff on his own. But yet, you went out of your way to disrespect this man. You could have kept this shit to yourself. And that's what I'm trying to tell you. These influencers, we all make mistakes. But don't think that just because an influencer is cool and funny and makes funny videos, that as soon as they say something, we have to go running to their protection. We can come out and say, hey, look, Maddie, that probably shouldn't have did all that. You know, Maddie, I'm sure some people did. But I saw, I, I, I looked at the comments. They were very much on Maddie's side. And I'm talking about people who, were, who weren't even part of the conversation. This was just people who were unbiased. Don't know who these two are, for the most part, that I saw. These were just people looking at him and saying, oh, this guy is just a deadbeat, blah, 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 blah. And it's just like, see, y'all young people, y'all don't get it. Stop just listening to your mother and assuming that if your father's not in your life, that he's a deadbeat. When you don't know shit that's going on. 
You have no idea what's financially going on. You have no idea why they left each other. All you hear from your mother is, yeah, your father cheated. Ma'am, with all due respect, keep your mouth closed. Keep your mouth closed. The fact that she said that he abandoned them lets me know that the mother has to have said that. There's no fucking reason on earth. Maddie, not knowing anything, is immediately assumed that she got abandoned. Okay, unless her mother said, yeah, your father abandoned us. Because I, like I said, if her mother had been like, don't worry about what your father did. He's still helping his family. This is between him and me. You're the child. Stay in the child's place. Don't ask me again about what happened to your father. When you get older, if you choose to, you can reach out to your father and ask him those questions. But, but, but as far as my side, I'm not talking about it. This ain't got nothing to do with you. You stay down there. All I'm saying... In 2004 and divorced in 2005. I took up breakdancing entirely by accident in 2012 as a way to get in. So you see that? She said at five he left them to go breakdancing. He didn't start breakdancing till seven years after you turned five, Maddie. You said he left at when you were five to go breakdancing. But clearly in 2005, the divorce was final. He didn't start breakdancing for another seven years from that point. So you were 12. See, that's what I'm saying. You don't even remember the facts. How could you say at five he, he left the breakdance, but he didn't start breakdancing until seven years later? No matter how you do that timeline, because he didn't leave in 2012. He must have left when you were five in 2005, right? So how the hell could he have left the breakdance if he didn't pick up breakdancing until seven years after the fact? So that was just a flat out lie. That was that has to be a flat out lie. And you can even see he was breakdancing on the thing. What did the YouTube video say? That was five years ago he was on Good Morning America. So you're trying to tell me five years ago from 2004, that would be 2019. You're trying to tell me that nobody knew he was breakdancing. He was a famous breakdancer in 2005, right? But nobody even noticed who the hell he was until 2019. And then he got on Good, Minute, Good Morning America? No, ma'am. That's not how it works. Clearly, he didn't start breakdancing until he was much, until 2012, and then he got noticed in 2019, which makes a lot more sense than a big ass gap between them. Shape at the age of 54. I then just kept doing it. I'm now age 66. Now, some of you might be wondering can he still breakdance at age 66? Well, I don't know. Okay, so he goes on the break dance. Who cares? But let's get back to the talking. And her video certainly is true from her perspective. Even though a few details are off. No doubt because of what she heard from her mom. And I do think it's a... Obviously, we all know that, men. Great storyline. That a 54-year-old dude left his family to pursue break dancing. Even if not quite true, factually. But perhaps it speaks to a bigger truth. A truth that is really truer than the actual facts of the matter. This could be a very funny movie plot. So maybe Maddie will make this movie about her 66-year-old breakdancing dad. Also, as I scroll through the 12,000 comments on Maddie's video, I really like most of them. Some are hilarious. Here are a few I'll read at random. This one is from someone named Ro, and she says, My mom abandoned me as a kid to join a renaissance fair across the country. This is from Maria. I didn't know my dad was bald until my mom knocked his toupee off in a fight when I was 10. My mom didn't know he was bald then until that moment. This is from Diane. In foster care mandated therapy, the therapist told me I had abandonment issues and then stopped showing up to the sessions. I never saw her again. I want y'all to notice how this man is simply just trying to be funny now. So some people make fun of him and everything. He's 60. What is he said he was 66 now? Let me see. Ants at age 66. Well, I don't know. Let's see. So this man is 66 years old. Man, come on, man. We know at 66, most people, they start slowing down. They're not trying to be all sick. He's not even taking this, like, to heart. He's just saying, hey, some of the stuff you said <laughs> wasn't right. Okay? At the end of the day, you probably heard it from your mom. I just want to say, hey, look. Y'all may think this because he still got a market. That's one thing. He still has a reputation. Okay, so that's probably why he came out and made the video because he's like, "Well, Maddie, you know, I got a network of people too. Even the little bitty bones that I'm making now, I still break dance. I still have a network of men around me, 
and you came out and literally with millions of your followers, with 12,000 comments, your millions of followers came out, called me a deadbeat dad. Guess who has to respond to that? I got to respond to that. And she, Maddie said in her response, which is now deleted from what I can see. She said, I did not think he would respond. Why the hell would he not respond? You literally have millions of followers. You made a video. 12,000 comments. 12,000 comments, guys. Y'all understand how social media works. If there's something with 12,000 comments, guess how many views that must have had. Okay? She's at millions of views, right? He said that at the very beginning. So he has no choice but to respond. If somebody comes out and says something about you and now you got thousands of people coming over and saying, hey, this, 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 guess who's going to get back to you? Your network of people. And they're going to be like, hey, did you really leave your daughter? to?" And now you're like, okay, hold on. <laughs> Let me just go ahead and make a response to this. And that's how it is. Here's my thing. Excuse me. You individuals who like to call out your parents, look, look, not everybody has the best moments in life, but you get the fuck over it. I just don't get it. And, Maddie, you didn't even know the whole truth. So you really got out here and exposed yourself for not even knowing the entire truth. You literally said this man didn't pay any money. He said You said he didn't pay your medical bills. And I noticed how when Maddie made her response video, she tried to backpedal that. She's like, nah, okay. I, when I said he didn't pay my medical bills, I was talking about when I was in college and I asked him for some money. That's not how it came off, Maddie. You said he abandoned you at five years old and then immediately said after that, this man wouldn't pay my medical bills. That's what you said. That's what was implied. You didn't have to make the video, especially a 90 second video, not even going into detail. It didn't even matter. It didn't, you didn't have to bring it up. That's your business. And he's not, he wasn't there to defend himself. He had to go defend himself to your thousands, I mean millions of followers. So you talked about him knowing he wasn't there to defend himself and then did all that, Maddie? I, and when I saw her response video, it wasn't even an apology. She could have came out, hey, you know what, guys, what I did, that was effed up. You know, I, I, I thought this, I got emotional and I was just in my head that day. Let me first and foremost say I'm sorry to my father. I'm sorry for saying that. I take full accountability that please stop sending comments to my father. Please let this go. I'm deleting the video. Do me a favor as my fans. Please leave this man alone. I didn't see that in the response video. I haven't seen no tweets. Maybe she did. But in the response video I saw to this, she only she didn't take any accountability. She simply said that he wasn't around. He was absent. She didn't know about the financial money that they were getting and that he didn't pay her medical bills when she asked when she was in college. And, it's, and so she didn't take no accountability from what I can see. And it's a disgust. It's disgusting. But y'all let me know what y'all think. I, I, I'm disgusted. Peace.